Right now, controversy is brewing at the Sarasota Memorial Hospital board meeting. It is packed to capacity as residents, including members of advocacy groups, speak out against the hospital system's COVID protocols during the pandemic. Ahead of tonight, a group rallied this morning in Venice criticizing the hospitals. Let's get right to our Adore Chumba live with what's happening, Adore. That meeting is scheduled to start wrapping up right around now here at Sarasota Memorial Hospital. And those groups are calling for another investigation into SMH's COVID-19 operations. The hospital's managers, though, say the leaders of those groups are targeting the hospital solely based on propaganda and disinformation. Weeks after releasing a review of its handling of the COVID pandemic, Sarasota Memorial Hospital is still under a storm of criticism by some people. One of those is Brenda Pastoric, whose husband died from COVID-19 in the fall of 2021. Protocols and the simple humanitarian uh, aspects of my husband being and not getting simple ice water. Pastore claims not only was her husband treated differently because he was unvaccinated, she also says he was denied the non-FDA approved ivermectin. Actions she alleges led to his death. My husband had been out of isolation, but they still didn't let us in because they had their COVID restricted hours. 24 hours. The hospital's protocol was reviewed by more than 70 doctors and researchers. It showed the hospital cared for 70% of the county's COVID cases and had a 24% lower COVID death rate than the national average. But the hospital's critics say they distrust the system and fault its implementation of CDC guidelines and the use of the antiviral drug remdesivir. The attacks, I think, are unfounded and frankly are reprehensible. We've had death threats to some of our uh, doctors. Uh, our medical uh, staff has been subjected to some very, very rude uh, behavior. Hospital managers say those who lost loved ones under their care brought their issues to the board's attention, and that's what led to the review, which the board has voted 7-2 to two to adopt. My plea is that, especially for um, the simple things um, that I mentioned, uh, that they would put a better system into place, but mostly because of those protocols, 